One of the things I really like about macOS is that it has a dark mode. I'm in light mode right now, and I can toggle into dark mode, and my whole UI turns dark. Most apps at this point have been updated to support it as well. But the one thing that doesn't change is my wallpaper. I really don't like this super bright wallpaper when I'm in dark mode. And so as of right now, with the way most wallpapers that you download from the internet work, you're not able to change it with that setting. And so I wanted to fix that. And you can fix that. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today with a very simple app in the terminal. Now, there are some prerequisites to this. You need to be comfortable pasting things into your terminal. That's one thing. And then you also need to make sure you have Xcode installed on your computer. Uh, you can install that from the Mac App Store. It's totally free, uh, but it's just a big piece of software that wallpaper uses to make that uh, make itself work. And then you, I also recommend, you don't have to, but I do recommend installing Homebrew if you haven't already. This is basically an easy way to install third-party utilities uh, from the web uh, using very easy commands <laughs> rather than doing uh, a whole lot of extra stuff in the terminal. Um, I won't go into Homebrew right now, but if you have Homebrew installed, the install for this is going to be much easier. So let's get into the actual thing we're talking about today, and that is this utility called Wallpaper. And so it's really cool. It does more than we're going to show today, but I'm going to show you just how to set up a light mode and dark mode wallpaper from your own images, right? And so it's showing this Earth view. It's showing uh, Cyberpunk 1, where the sun's going to move across throughout the day. Uh, but basically, the install process, if you have uh, Homebrew installed, which I just mentioned, you just copy this to your clipboard, and you can go to your terminal, paste it, and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. Now, I'm going to stop it because I actually already have <laughs> the app installed, so it's already installed and up to date, uh, which is fine. So, oops, there we go. Uh, and then we want to, uh, if you don't have Homebrew, I should say, then you can manually install it. You can copy these five lines and it will go ahead and install it for you manually uh, without homebrew. So whichever option works, if one of these doesn't work for you, I can't really help you with that. They do have a troubleshooting section right here with the command you can use. The first time I installed it, I did actually have to run this. Uh, so yeah, just be aware that if it doesn't work the first time, try this. If not, uh, talk to the developer. I unfortunately don't have any more information <laughs> on how to do that. But at this point, you should be up and running with the wallpaper app and I'll take a look at what we need to do. So basically, there are three different ways you can do it, but no matter what sort of dynamic wallpaper you're creating, you have to do the same thing. You have to create a folder and then put your images you are going to use in that folder. And then you have to create a JSON folder that can be named whatever you want, but it just has to be a JSON file in that same folder. So I'm going to open this in my text editor, which is Nova. Uh, any text editor works. Uh, and then I'm going to create a new file that's going to make it in this folder called convert.json. Okay, so then I open that, and then this is what I'm gonna to need to put my rules in for what I want wallpaper to do with these images, right? And so I have a dark mode and a light mode one. So if I look at the documentation, there are three different types of dynamic wallpapers. There's solar, based on the sun's location in the sky. Uh, we're not gonna do that. There is time-based, so based on time of day, you can switch through a bunch of them. Uh, so you can have like a whole bunch of images, as many as you want, really, and it'll change based on what time it is. We're not doing that. We're doing the easiest one, based on appearance. So based on the OS settings, light or dark mode, it'll choose the one to show. And so I can just go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go back to Nova and paste that here. And then this is documented in the website, but it's pretty easy to kind of figure out what's the file name for the primary and light mode image. And then there's the file name for the dark mode image, right? So these are both, uh, if I open up files here, this is waves-light. Dot PNG, and this is waves-dark.png, right? So I'm going to save the file, and that's really it. Uh, the is primary is really just what's the default image if you're not doing a wallpaper where it's like deciding which one to use based on light mode or dark mode, which one will it show. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you do. I'm just going to be okay with that. So I'm going to head, go ahead and get out of there, uh, but I've got my convert.json file here. You can see it right there. And now I need to just run the uh, command to prepare the wallpaper. Right, so this is it. I just do wallpaper i and then the name of my JSON file. So I need to open the terminal again and I need to go into desktop waves, make sure you're in the same directory as the files that you're manipulating. I'm gonna paste that command and then it's not wallpaper, it's convert.json, there we go. And so when I hit enter, it should create a fourth file in here uh, called output.heic. So there we go, output.heic. I'm actually going to call this waves.heic. 
cool. And so now uh, you can see everything worked over here. Uh, if I close all this down and then I right click here and say set as desktop picture, you will see nothing's changed. But if I go into my display settings and say turn on dark mode, there we go. And so now the wallpaper has changed to my dark variant. If I switch back to light mode, I can switch back and forth all day and it'll change perfectly for me. So this is really nice. Uh, if you want this specific wallpaper, I'll make sure it's linked in the descriptions. You can download it. I may also throw a couple more if I have time to create some more of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is just a really co cool way you can take whatever images you want. If you have wallpapers already uh, that you've downloaded, you can do those. If you want to create your own and then do this, it's a really nice tool, really easy to use. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if it was, feel free to drop a like down there. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments and hit subscribe. I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.